Hey guys, we got the Skywatcher 80mm Equinox on the SV Boney AZ and my tripod. And today we have a super moon and it's also a partial lunar eclipse. Now, if you take a look at the moon, you can just see the top left corner starting to become a little shady there. So it's starting right now. The reason why I picked the Equinox is because I want a wider field of view than let's say my 4 inch f5 acro which is even wider but it's going to have a lot of false color. When looking at the moon right you want something that's not going to have the chromatic aberration or the false color and right now I have the uh, cell phone uh, on it and as you can see right now it's starting to it's actually on the opposite side the top left when you look at it in real life but because of the mirror diagonal it inverts it so it looks like it's on the top right okay remember it's flipped on here so it's going to be the top right now that's becoming a little darker there you can see it looks like a bite is starting to come out of the moon Okay, here's another little shot. I'll just keep going out every uh, five to 10 minutes and just do a quick video. Okay, I'm just gonna take another couple second video as it progresses and there we go. You can see the shade is actually becoming bigger. Okay, there's about another 10 minutes or so later. This is more of the native focal length I'm not blowing it up on the phone uh, as I was close before. So let's try it in a little bit later. Okay, here's another quick little video. Uh, again, I believe it's a partial. So you're not going to get, uh, it's, it's not a full lunar eclipse. Okay guys, so I think that's it. That's the maximum. And again, it was a partial lunar eclipse. You could definitely tell something's going on with the moon. It's darker at the top. 